Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm here today and I'm going to sort through Grandma's clothespin uh, basket. We're avid clothesline dryers or solar clothes dryer people here. So I wanted to show you some of, some of what has happened into Grandma's clothespin basket. We're just going to dump these right out. The first thing I notice is there's a whole bunch of different colors. And some of these are quite a bit bigger. I know those are bigger because those are the ones that I made. Those are always the first one Grandma picks when she's doing laundry. Anything that's heavy, she always puts on, on the clothespins that I gave her. But then I look through all of this other stuff, and I can tell by color that there's a couple of different years worth of clothespins. Like, these were probably bought this year. And those, those have got a couple of years on them, and maybe those were last year. But as I sort through here, I see mine, which seem pretty heavy duty. And then I see these, which the hole in the side of them is really, really small. And I sort through some of these, and you can see they're crooked. You can see that they're the, the spring. I don't know if you can see that on the video. The spring is almost nothing. You look at my spring, it's a tight wound stainless steel spring. So I found some really great ones. This one has put in at least a couple of years service because it rusted. But I don't think that's got a whole nother year left. The, the power, pressure of the spring has bent the wood. And I don't know what happened there, but that made it past quality control. Um, I thought they were supposed to be bent out, not bent in. But, it's me, more rust, lots of rust. I don't know what's up with all the rust. Oh, there's another good quality one. I found some in here that were, to me, just appalling. That's a brand new one. This would have been bought this last summer. Look at the end. It goes down to absolutely nothing. How long do you think that'll last? That won't make it through the next summer. So I looked through here, and I think I gave Grandma 20. And believe it or not, those are all my seconds. Those aren't even first run. Sorry, Grandma. It's just how it is. Um, and then I look at all of this, and I can tell you that there's not many clothespins in this pile that are very old. But I can tell you the ones in this pile, which are the ones I made, she'll be using forever. She'll be giving those to her grandkids. So what I don't understand is why here in America we can't produce a good quality clothespin uh, until now. And now there's... There's at least three of us, one in New York, me in Northwest Connecticut, and one more in, in uh, the Pacific Northwest. So I just wanted to sort through Grandma's clothespins with you today and uh, show you what we're up against, which doesn't look like a whole lot. Look, that one's, that one's bent, again, by the spring pressure. I don't think that'll last another year to you. All right. Thank you, YouTube. Have a great day.